Welcome back for uh, lesson two, uh, the reverse tabular method for dividing polynomials of our first unit polynomial functions. So let's get right into it. Uh, number one, use the reverse tabular method to find the following quotients. So in class during lesson two, we said, well, we can use these tables that we use to multiply to help us divide. So we say 2x cubed plus x squared minus 16x plus 15 divided by 2x minus 3. So I'm dividing by 2x minus 3. Well, what times 2x minus 3 gives me 2x cubed plus x squared minus 16x plus 15? Well, that quotient, my answer is going to be whatever ends up on top of this table here. I don't really know how big this table is, but I know from that first diagonal I get a 2x cubed. From that next diagonal I get an x squared. Well, I need to add a column on there. That next diagonal, I get a negative 16x. Well, I still have something else to add. That last diagonal gives me a 15. We always start by putting in that 2x cubed. I know that 2x cubed has to go there. And I say, what times 2x gave me 2x cubed? What times 2x gave me 2x cubed? Well, that would have been x squared. x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. Now we finish up that column by multiplying x squared times negative 3 is negative 3x squared. And we start the process, and we're going to start the process over by filling in that next box, this diagonal box here, by saying what minus 3x squared gave me x squared. What plus negative 3x squared gave me 1x squared? Well, 4x squared minus 3x squared gave me 1x squared. And we start the process over. We now say what times 2x gave me 4x squared? What times 2x gave me 4x squared? Well, that would be a positive 2x. We multiply down. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x. And now we need to figure out what goes in this slot. What minus 6x gives me negative 16x? What minus 6 gives me negative 16? Well, I'm going to need a negative 10 there, because negative 10 minus 6 gives me negative 16. Then we start the process over. What times 2x gives me negative 10x? Well, negative 5 times 2x gives me negative 10x. Negative 5 times negative 3 is 15, which is what I wanted. So what's my answer? My answer is x squared plus 2x minus 5, because x squared plus 2x minus 5 times 2x minus 3 gives me um, my dividend, gives me what I wanted, what, what I was dividing. I was dividing that 2x cubed plus 1x squared minus 16x plus 15. So we kind of undo multiplication by, by kind of, I like to think about it as filling in the puzzle pieces. We have the box, we have the structure of the box, we know what comes out of the box, and we kind of work our way backwards. The next one, I'm dividing by x minus 2. What do I want to get out of the box? Well, first, hold on. Don't draw that vertical line yet. Well, I've got that horizontal line there from the x and the minus 2x. First, I get out an x cubed. I don't jump right to negative 8, because what normally comes after x cubed? Well, 0x squared. What comes after x squared? 0x. Those terms are missing. I have to fill them in. Then comes the negative 8. So always make sure that you have every term, even if they're missing. And we put the x cubed in that top corner and start the division process. What times x is x cubed? x squared. Multiply down. And now you have to stop and ask yourself, you have to say, self, what minus 2x squared gives me 0x squared? What minus 2 gives me 0? Well, 2 minus 2 gives me 0, so I'm going to put a 2x squared there. Then we go to the next piece, What? and we start the process over. What times x is 2x squared? Well, plus 2x. Multiply down, I get a minus 4x there. And we go say, and we ask ourselves, self, what minus 4x is 0x? What piece do I have to fill in there to get a 0x? Well, I've got 4x, 4x plus 4x, negative 4x plus 4x gives me 0x. 
and we start the process over. What times x is 4x? 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, which is one I wanted. So what's my final answer? When I divide those two, I get x squared plus 2x plus 4. The only way you get better at this is to keep practicing. Um, it may seem tedious right now, but it's just the same process over and over and over and over again. This next one looks crazy. I'm dividing by 3x squared minus 1. So on the side, I'm going to put 3x squared. Don't put the minus 1 yet, because I needed that 0x right there, that placeholder, minus 1. Finish making my table. I don't know the vertical parts, but I know that is the horizontal components there. That gives me 3x to the 5th. That gives me 12x to the 4th. That diagonal gives me 11x cubed. I have to add in a column. 2x squared. Make sure you're going in order. And x could come next. And then a minus 2. Okay, so we've got a lot of pieces here, but it's the same process over and over and over again. We put that 3x to the 5th back in. Because that's the only thing that gave me a 3x to the 5th. That's the only piece of this box that gives me an x to the 5th. And you need that placeholder of a 0 there, otherwise your diagonals wouldn't line up. So don't forget your placeholders. It's the biggest thing you need to remember. Okay, what times 3x squared gives me 3x to the 5th? Well, 3 times, so that's good. I'm missing x cubed. Multiply down. Well, that's just 0. You could say it's 0x to the 4th if you wanted, but it's just 0 minus 1x cubed. And now we move over to this piece here. I've got 0. I need 12. So 12x to the 4th had to go there. And we start the process over. What times 3x squared gave me 12x to the 4th? Well, last time I checked, 4 times 3 was 12, and x squared times x squared is x to the 4th. Multiply down. Okay. That's going to give me 0x cubed. Or really just 0, but that's fine. Minus 4x squared. Move to the next column. These three pieces that I just dotted in red have to give you 11x cubed. You've got negative 1. I want 11. So what minus 1 gives me 11? Because that's just a 0. I can ignore that. 12 has to go there. 12x cubed. So I've got a plus 4x. Because 4 times 3 is 12, x times x squared is x cubed. Multiply down. And fill in the missing piece up top here. I've got what? That's just 0. So neg I have negative 4, I want 2. I have negative 4 x squareds, and I want 2 of them. So I'm going to put a 6, because 6 minus 4 gives me 2. What times 3 is 6? Well, plus 2. I don't need any x's up there because x squared is x squared. That gives me 0. Does that check out? Yes, it does. Does that check out? Yes, it does. So what's my quotient? My final answer is x cubed plus 4x squared plus 4x plus 2. That was a tricky problem. And guess what? If you can do that problem, you can pretty much do every problem that I will throw at you. So, so this, this number 3 here, this, this third problem in this homework, um, set was probably the trickiest problem because you have to account for that zero row there so things lined up and it was just a lot of work. It's tedious but once you get good at it and you get fluent at it, it becomes really, really, a, it becomes a speedy process. All right, I'm dividing by 2x plus 1. I've got a 4x squared, an 8x, and a 3. You're probably like, wow, Mr. H, thanks for taking it easy on us on this one here. That's a 4x squared. Well, 2x times 2x is 4x squared. I'm going to multiply down. 2x times 1 is 2x. I need 8. I've got 2. So that's got to be a 6x. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times 1 is 3. It checks out. So what's my final answer? My quotient, when I divide those polynomials, you get 2x plus 3. And finally, first compute this quotient. Okay, let's do that first before we even read on. I see division. I'm thinking, well, how do I divide? I'm going to try the reverse tabular method. 
I've got 3x cubed, 10x squared, I'm going to need an add in a row, minus 14x, 4. Okay, 3x cubed had to have gone there. What times 3x is 3x cubed? Well, x squared. Multiply down. I need 10, I have negative 2. What minus 2 gives me 10? Well, 12 minus 2 gives me 10. Start the process over. 4x times 3x is 12x squared. Multiply down. I've got negative 8. I need negative 14. What minus 8 gives me negative 14? So I'm going to be negative 6, because negative 6 minus negative, negative 6 minus 8 gives me 14. So negative 6x, because those are just like terms. Um, plus, well, what times 3x gives me negative 6x? Not plus. How about a minus 2 goes there? Minus 2 times minus 2 is positive 4. So it is a factor. It checks out. So what's my answer? There it is right there. That's how I divide them. Then express that polynomial there, the top, as the product of 2. So this is getting at that point of how multiplication and division are related. If I multiply these two green pieces together, I get the dividend. So I can say 3x squared plus 10, sorry, 3x cubed, it's a typo there on my part, 3x cubed plus 10x squared minus 14x plus 4 equals the product of these two polynomials. So I can say if I multiply those two polynomials together, because that's what the table does, if I multiply those two together, I get my dividend. So this is getting at the idea of multiplication and division are related, and it's going to help us factor in the future. Explain your reasoning. Um, so explain your reasoning means write a sentence. Um, if we think about the division division problem as multiplication, I can rewrite 3x cubed plus 10x squared minus 14x plus 4 as 3x minus 2 times x squared plus 4x minus 2. So the key thing is here, we have to think about the division problem as, wait a minute, this is actually a multiplication problem. If I multiply those two polynomials, I get that dividend that I wanted. Sorry for the typo up there, that's supposed to be 3x cubed. Thanks for joining us for lesson two.